Creative Fabrica has a great tool that you can try for free. Creative Fabrica Studio is an online solution where you can create amazing designs that are perfect for print on demand, social media, and so much more. In this video, I'm going to walk through the main features of Creative Fabrica Studio. Let's jump in and get creating. Now, if you've never heard of Creative Fabrica before, I strongly encourage you to check out the links in the video description. What you can do with Creative Fabrica is you can take a look at fonts, graphics, all sorts of embroidery bundles, and you can purchase individual fonts and graphics, or you can buy at the top of the screen. There's an all access subscription and it's pretty affordable. So again, check it out in the video link below. Just a heads up, it is an affiliate link. That just means if you purchase either an individual item on Creative Fabrica or the all access subscription, I would receive a small commission. Okay, when you first get into the studio page, there's this go beyond ordinary thing here in the middle. You're gonna click start designing right here in the middle. And that's gonna bring you to a screen that looks just like this. And there's different projects here sitting in the middle, my recent projects. And if I click on any of them, they would open them up, but I'm gonna actually create a new design from scratch. So if I wanna create a new design, I just go over here to the top right and I'm gonna click add new design. But before I do that, I just wanna point out there's this little moon in the corner. And if I click on it, it actually changes this to what they call night view or day view. I'm gonna click on add new design here on the top right. Now, when I get to this page, I've got different sized templates that I can use. And these are just blank pages. I can also set over here on the right hand side, I can make my width and my height, whatever I like. I can change my pixels into centimeters or inches. And I can also change my dots per inch as well. So what I like to do, for example, for print on demand on the left, if I'm working on a merch by Amazon t-shirt, I can click here and that will give me automatically 4,500 by 5,400. If I'm working on something else, for example, like a T public standard design, that'll give me the 5,000 by 5,500. So in my case, I'm going to do an Amazon t-shirt 4,500 by 5,400 and I'm going to click create new design. Now, depending on how savvy you are, the main menu can look a little bit intimidating when you first see it. There's a menu here at the top, and then there's a menu here along the left-hand side. Over on the right-hand side, you're gonna see a layers panel as well. There's also a little menu here at the top that you can click on, and it'll open up my last open designs as well, and then I can go back to the home page if I want. Simply by clicking outside, that'll take you outside of the menu. So well, let's check it out what we've got here at the top. There's a vectorizer tool. We're gonna to get into that a little bit later in this video. This is one of your main menus, this little home base icon. When I click on that, it takes you back to your home base. There's three little lines here, and that's like a vertical menu. You can create a new design from here. You can open recent, you can save and download. So if you wanna save a design, a little spoiler alert, it's under these three horizontal lines. That's where you can save or download your design. There's also a layers button right here. So if I close out the layers panel on the right hand side, let's say I'm working away and I go, whoa, no, I lost it. Well, I just need to toggle it by clicking back the layers panel right there. And then this last button here, it looks like a little menu, that just toggles this piece right here. It shows you the size of the design. Well, if, you, if you're using that all the time and you don't really care about the size, you can toggle that off and you'll see it grays out. You just simply click it again and it'll pop back on. Now we're gonna get into the left-hand side menu as we go through this video to populate our white page sitting in the middle. Okay, so let's take a look at our first option here, which is on the left-hand side, there's awesome templates. So when you click on the templates, you're going to see a whole bunch of templates come up and on the left-hand side, there's an option here where you can look at different subsets. So for example, social graphics, go back to all templates, you can look at Facebook cover templates, so if you just wanna leave it at all templates, you can also search here at the top. So if you wanted, for example, let's say a space design template, you type in space, you know, here's a rocket ship over here on the right hand side. So if I were to click on that for a baby shower, I can click add as a new design or I can replace. If I click replace, it'll overwrite whatever I've got. Now that I have a blank design right now, so I can click replace and it's not a big deal, but that will open up this template. And now I can simply click on things, move them around, I can change the text. So it's really just click, what you see is what you get, and you'll see the appropriate menu opens on the left-hand side as I'm working through the templates. Pretty easy to use. You can also use graphics pretty easily too. So here I've got a brand new template open. I'm simply gonna close out the top. I'm gonna go here to the left. I'm gonna click on graphics. And then inside here, I can see there's a whole bunch of graphics as I scroll down. There's a really neat feature here in this graphics tool where I can expand right here and I can make this now a full screen search tool. It's gonna to take a second to load in. And then from here, I've got sub menus on the left. I can also search right at the top. So I could type in, for example, the word heart. 
I simply click enter and I can see there's a whole bunch of heart designs now that I could use. These are designs with the word heart tagged in them. So if I were to click on a heart design and then I simply close out of the search window, that's now sitting here populated. I can make this design bigger, smaller, I can rotate it, I can modify it however I want here inside of the design. I can also hit the little trash can and I can delete it out and I'm back to basics. So you can search at the top or you can expand out your search with all these different subsets. You can do whatever works best for you. Let's talk text. Over on the left hand side, there's a menu button right here, a big T, and when I click on it, a text menu opens up. Now I've got templates on the left and I've got settings here on the right. I can select a text layer to edit the settings. Right now I'm gonna click on the templates, I'm gonna to go to heading, and when I click on that, it gives me just a basic text sitting here. You'll see it says paragraph, roboto, and from there, I can change things. I can make the text smaller, I can make the text larger, I can also move it like this to increase the size. I can also shrink it, make it really big, move it around. I can rotate it. I can also change the transparency, the border weight. I can even change the text itself. I can scroll down and I can grab a completely different text. And I just think this is a really neat, intuitive, easy to use tool. I really like changing the text color as well. Super quick, that's gonna make it red. Transparency is back to 100 border weight down to zero and now I've got red font just like that. You can change the border weight to make it really nice. That's a great looking font right there. Very easy to change in real time. Let's take a look at elements. It's kind of like graphics. It's on the left hand side. Elements are like subsets of graphics. They're not necessarily full on pictures but they could be little pieces that really take your design to the next level. So I click on elements here on the left hand side. I can also search for elements and you'll see there's lines. There's a little view all, abstract shapes, view all, autumn forest leaf, view all. So as I scroll on down, I like for example to use basic shapes and when I click view all that's going to make my menu quite a bit bigger and from here I can then click I'll say this circle. Now when I click on it it could be quite small depending on the size of your template. That's okay just grab the little square and just expand it out and you'll see there's my shape right there. You can see right at the top there's an intuitive menu it shows my outer circle and my inner circle so I could change the outer circle color very easily. I'm going to make it nice and purple and then my interior color, I could make that, for example, yellow. And just like that, I've created a great looking interior design. I wanna mention the layers panel here really quickly as we're moving through the menu. So I'm gonna leave my circle up on the screen and I'm gonna go back to graphics just for a second. I'm gonna add a butterfly so I can move my butterfly around in the design, but you'll notice it's on top of the circle. Well, what if we wanted the circle on top of the butterfly? It's pretty easy to do. There's layers over on the right and you'll see it says two, meaning there's two layers. All you need to do is grab the butterfly and just drag it down underneath the circle or you can just grab the butterfly and put it on top of the circle. So you can just move these layers pretty easily. You can also lock the layer in as well. So I'm gonna show you how to do this. Let's say you're moving these around and you keep hitting the butterfly by accident. You're like, oh, I really just wanna move the circle. Well, you can lock this butterfly in. I can click the little lock button and now I can't move the butterfly at all. So now I can move my circle around and I can make him exactly where I want without worrying that I'm gonna be somehow moving the butterfly. This is really helpful if you're using really complicated and lots of layered designs. You can also remove it if you're looking at visibility. So let's say you've got a whole bunch of designs all sitting here. So here I've got quite a you know busy looking template that I'm using. And let's say I wanted to get rid of the little cow here for a second. Well, what I can do is hover over the cow layer and I can select the little eyeball. And that'll just make it disappear. The layer's still there. So if you've modified it or if you've worked really hard on it, you just want to temporarily remove it from sight. I can remove it with the little eyeball. And of course, if you want to get rid of it, the trash can is something we've all known and love over the years. We just select the trash can icon and things will disappear pretty easily. Let's talk patterns for a second. I really like the patterns option on here. It's on the left hand side near the bottom. When I click on patterns, I'm going to see a whole bunch of patterns come up. And what I really like about these is that you can tile them. The, so I'm going to click on this rainbow one and you can see the top of the design matches the bottom of the design. So I'm actually going to put it right here at the top left. And then I'm going to go here to this button right there. It says repeat on background. And when I click repeat, check that out. There's actually six designs here that make one large pattern. So if you have a really large, cool design that you wanna work on, you can make this look 
pretty neat. There's also a great photos option on the left hand side. I'm going to click on photos and I'm going to see an entire library of photos opening up here. So I'm going to click on the search option here at the top. I'm going to type in the word cat for example. We can see instantly now we've got lots of cat photos. I'm going to click on this and we can see now I can make a nice high quality design featuring kitty cat wearing some sunglasses. One of the coolest art options inside of Creative Fabrica is the Spark AI option. It's right here near the top left. When I click on it, it's going to say describe what you want and let our artificial intelligence do the rest. You're going to click into the gray box here. So I'm going to type in cat wearing sunglasses and then I'll click generate image. And here we can see we've got four options down at the bottom. I'm going to click on the bottom one. Okay, so I like the way this looks, but he's a white cat on a white background. So how can I change the background so that I can see this cat a bit better? Well, over on the left-hand side, there's a background button right here. And when I click on it, we're going to see that at the top, there's some presets so that you can change your background color. Or you can just click on the little eyedropper icon and that'll bring up a option here where you can change the color. You can make the background dark, you can make the background red, green, whatever you like. You can, it's pretty easy to change. So I'm going to make this nice bright purple. Now you can also change the background into a design itself. So I'm going to click on this retro image right here. Now it is a background so you can't move the background. You're going to see it's locked right here. So it's on the right hand side there's a little lock button. If you want to change the background, like if you want to move it and modify it, simply unlock it. And now it becomes a regular design like anything else. So I can make this bigger to match my template and now I've got kitty cat sitting here. I can make him a bit bigger. If I want to lock my background again, I simply click the little lock button on the layers panel and now I've got my cat sitting on top of what's now an expanded layer. There's a really cool feature which is the vectorizer tool and that's on the very top left. When I click on this Creative Fabrica vectorizer, it's a V menu, I can then upload an image just on the top right hand side. I'm going to click an image to vectorize from my hard drive and as it populates it'll eventually become visible here in the middle. And there's the image and we can see there's the original image. It's a little bit fuzzy because it was a PNG file and here's the right image. It's crystal clear because it's now a vector. I'm going to click add to studio and now I'm going to click go to studio because that's where my main template is. So when you're working on a design, if you'd like to add something that you vectorize, it's pretty easy to do. On the left hand side, I'm going to click on uploads. I'm going to click in my vectorizer folder and I'm going to take a look at whatever I've got uploaded. I'm going to select in this case my dragon. And there's my dragon. I can make him nice and big because he's a vector. So he's going to look nice and clear even when I make him a nice big size. If you want to download your design, it's pretty easy to do. Here's my design featuring a few different items. I've got some butterflies here and then I've got a Christmas design. Now I can change the background, but if I want to put this on a t-shirt, I don't really want to have the background showing. So when you're downloading a design, you want to ask yourself, do you want the JPEG file, which will keep the background? Or do you want a PNG file, in which case the background is transparent? To download a design, you're going to go to the top to the three horizontal bars and you're going to go to download. And when you click on download, you're going to be presented with the option, actually three options. You can download it as a PNG, a JPEG, or a PDF. If you're downloading it as a PNG file, you want to make sure to remove the background and then you can download as a PNG. A little window is going to open up right here and you can download it. You'll see it's a PNG file. That'll create a transparent background for your design. I highly recommend giving Studio a try. I'll put a link in the video description below. I really hope you found this walkthrough helpful. I love using Creative Fabrica and I'm a proud ambassador for them. I use them all the time and they do help me make sales in the print on demand world. Here's another video on how you can supercharge your print on demand journey. And I'd love to hear your thoughts on Creative Fabrica Studio in the comments below. Thanks a lot for watching.